What's up guys, NBA talk, third video of the night for us. Uh, this one is the Wizards, the Washington Wizards versus the Boston Celtics. And I forgot about the history about this rivalry that I mentioned early on in my Philadelphia and Knicks game. The, the, these teams don't like each other. I didn't realize it because they kept talking about it in between commercial breaks. Oh, the rivalry, Al Horford versus Morris, um, John Wall talking a lot of junk with Crowder and Marcus Smart, all these guys. But of course, it's not the same team as before. They're a little bit more mature and stuff, you know. There was still a little bit of talking, but not as hostile that I thought it was going to be. Because they kept advertising that hostility between each other. Because this is the real NBA rivalry. They were going at each other. They were both doing their thing. However, this game went down the same way. The same way as the New York Knicks versus Philadelphia. And Philadelphia won that game because they were more efficient. They executed better. Execution was much better. For the Washington Wizards, they did exactly that. Um, Bradley Beal was just beasting. John Wall right behind him, passing the ball pretty good. And then you have Otto Porter Jr. being efficient like he should be. And then you got the boy uh, Markeith Morris. I think this is guy. Markeith Morris doing some good things as well. So you got the starters doing some good things. You got Kelly O'Bear coming off the bench, being a real good help coming off the bench, giving those points. While the Boston Celtics, only a few people show up. Uh, a couple people in the starting lineup. Uh, J Jalen Brown didn't really show up tonight, even though he was getting rebounds like crazy. Uh, Jason Tatum, he was efficient tonight. Uh, Al Horford was doing some good things, passing the ball, rebounding, uh, putting up points, shooting the, shooting the ball pretty good. Uh, and of course, Kyrie Irving brought it tonight. Uh, not as efficient, but he had a presence tonight. And then the bench players did some good things too. It's just that they were not efficient enough to compete with the Washington Wizards. Like, the Washington Wizards were not making mistakes. At least a little bit of mistakes. They were keeping it low. While the Boston Celtics were turning the ball over, the fouling. I mean... Yeah, they just they just got outplayed, and the Washington Wizards were more efficient. That's all I can really say about this game because it was still competitive in the end. Um, so Wizards win one eleven to one hundred three Celtics. Um, yeah, Bradley Beal with twenty five points to lead the team. He was ten for twenty five from the field. He picked up eight rebounds, two assists. John Wall with twenty one points, fourteen assists. Five rebounds. He was 8 for 19 from the field. Uh, Marcus Gortant with 11 points, 10 rebounds, 2 block shots. Otto Porter Jr. with 20 points, 6 rebounds. 3 three-pointers tonight. He was 7 for 10 from the field, 3 for 5 from the three-point range. Very efficient. And then you got Markeith Morris with ten, um, 14 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists. And then off the bench, you got Kelly O'Bear Jr. with 16 points. He was 7 for 13 from the field in 32 minutes. Five rebounds, two assists. A lot of production. All there. John Wall, Bradley Beal, Otto Porter Jr., Markeith Morris. You know that, man. Doing some good damage. 46% uh, from the field, 47 rebounds, 26 assists. Doing their thing. Um... Celtics, uh, you have Kyrie Irving with 20 points, 5 assists, 4 rebounds. He was 8 for 18, which is not that good. Um, at least by a little bit. Like, he's like in a 40 range. Um, you had Al Horford with 12 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 block shots. He was 5 for 10 from the field. You have Jason Tatum with 20 points, 3 rebounds. He made 2 three-pointers. Um... And Jalen Brown had eight points, nine rebounds. And that was pretty much it. He wasn't shooting too good. He was three for nine from the field, zero for five for the three-point range in 32 minutes. 
But luckily for them, uh, well, not necessarily lucky because they still lost, but they got definitely got some help off the bench. You got um, Diaz uh, with 12 points, 4 rebounds in 18 minutes. He was doing some good things even with the mask and all that. You got Marcus Morris, Marcus Smart with 10 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. You got Royzer with 16 points. He made four three-pointers. He picked seven rebounds, two assists, and a steal. And that's pretty much it to say. Um, the team shot 48% for the field, 48% for the three-point range, 45 rebounds, 20 assists, 16 turnovers, uh, comparing to the Wizards' eight turnovers, and 23 personal fouls. So that's pretty much it um, for the Celtics and Wizards game. Um, Celtics are five and five in their last ten. So the five wins, five losses tonight. Um, the Washington Wizards on their second win. They're six and four in the last ten, which is pretty decent. Um, but here's the kicker about all of this. The Cavaliers have been losing. Not as much, but like the last couple of games, like last four games, overall they've lost. They have have a 7-3 and three in their last 10. But they've been dropping. The Celtics have been dropping rapidly too, like I already said already. The Toronto Raptors are number one in the East. And I bet you, I bet you a lot of people are looking at the standings and like, What? Like, what's going on? Why is the Toronto Raptors a number one? Because they've been winning. They, the Toronto Raptors have been winning secretly. They're like, no one's talking about them. They're just climbing up, climbing up, climbing up. And they're doing their thing. So, Celtics need to get back in their game, man. They really need to get back there in their game. And the Cavaliers, too. So, that's all I can really say for now. One more, and I'll be done with. So, peace.